Have you ever stopped to consider how important female reproductive health truly is? It's a topic that goes beyond the surface level of fertility and childbirth. It's about the overall health, wellness, and longevity of women. Female reproductive health is a cornerstone of societal well-being. It's not just about the ability to bear children, but it's also a significant factor in a woman's overall health. You see, the female reproductive system plays a crucial role in hormonal balance, which has a domino effect on other aspects of health, such as bone strength, cardiovascular health, and even mental well-being. But despite its importance, there's a shroud of stigma and silence surrounding female reproductive health. Many societies and cultures, even today, shy away from openly discussing it. This lack of communication and understanding often leads to misinformation, fear, and neglect of female health. This silence and stigma can have serious consequences. It leads to late diagnoses of reproductive health issues like polycystic ovary syndrome, endometriosis, and even gynecological cancers. It also contributes to the shame and guilt that many women feel about their bodies and their health, further perpetuating the cycle of silence. The lack of knowledge and understanding about female reproductive health isn't just damaging on an individual level. It has societal implications too. When women are uninformed about their health, they are less likely to seek medical help, less likely to practice safe sex, and less likely to maintain a healthy lifestyle that supports their reproductive health. This can lead to a rise in health issues, unplanned pregnancies, and sexually transmitted diseases. And let's not forget, female reproductive health isn't just a concern for women of childbearing age. It's a lifelong journey that starts from puberty and continues well into the postmenopausal years. That's why it's vital for all women, regardless of their age or life stage, to understand and take care of their reproductive health. And maintaining female reproductive health is vital for all women, regardless of their life stage or circumstances. Let's break the silence, bust the myths, and empower women with knowledge about their bodies and their health. Because when women are healthy, society thrives. If this content resonates with you, consider subscribing to the Life Lesson Ideas channel for more insights on health life lessons. Your support will help us continue providing important information that can change lives. Let's grow this community of informed and empowered individuals together. The first step towards maintaining female reproductive health involves regular checkups. It's like taking your car to the mechanic for a routine inspection. You wouldn't want to wait until your engine fails to discover there's an issue, would you? Similarly, regular health checkups and screenings can help detect any abnormalities or issues early on, giving you a fighting chance against any potential problems. When it comes to health, the early bird truly does catch the worm. Regular screenings such as pap smears, mammograms, and pelvic exams play a crucial role in catching diseases like cervical and breast cancer in their early stages, when they're most treatable. It's not just about problem detection either. Regular checkups allow you to discuss any concerns or changes you've noticed with your healthcare provider. Remember, prevention is always better than cure, so make regular checkups a part of your health routine. The second step for maintaining reproductive health is adopting a healthy lifestyle. This might sound like a broad term and it is, but don't fret. We're here to break it down into manageable bites. A healthy lifestyle encompasses three main components, diet, exercise, and stress management. First, let's talk about diet. A balanced diet is essential for maintaining good reproductive health. This includes a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. These not only provide the necessary vitamins and minerals for your body to function optimally, but also help to maintain a healthy weight which is crucial for reproductive health. Next, exercise. Regular physical activity not only keeps your heart healthy and your weight in check, it also plays a significant role in your reproductive health. Exercise helps to regulate hormones, reduce stress, and can even improve fertility. So, whether it's a brisk walk, a yoga class, or a dance-off in your living room, get moving. Lastly, stress management. In today's fast-paced world, stress is unavoidable. However, chronic stress can wreak havoc on your reproductive system. It can disrupt your menstrual cycle, cause hormonal imbalances, and even lead to fertility issues. So, it's important to find ways to manage stress effectively. This could be through mindfulness techniques, such as meditation or deep breathing exercises, or simply taking time out to do something you enjoy. Now, these lifestyle changes might seem overwhelming, 
But remember, it's about progress, not perfection. Small consistent changes can have a big impact over time. You don't have to overhaul your entire lifestyle overnight. Start with one change and once that becomes a habit, add another. Before you know it, you'll be living a healthier lifestyle and reaping the benefits. The healthy lifestyle is not just good for your overall health, but also for your reproductive health. So take a step today towards a healthier you, because your reproductive health matters. The third step is to know your body. There's a lot of wisdom in those words, and it's wisdom that bears repeating. You see, understanding your body, your menstrual cycle, and any changes that may occur is not just about knowledge for knowledge's sake. It's about being in tune with yourself, being able to recognize when something might be amiss, and being proactive about your reproductive health. Let's talk about the menstrual cycle, for instance. It's not just about marking dates on a calendar. It's about understanding the ebb and flow of your body's rhythms. It's about recognizing the signs of ovulation, such as changes in cervical mucus or mild abdominal pain. It's about noticing if your cycle is regular or irregular, heavy or light, painful or pain-free. Noticing these patterns and changes can help you identify potential health concerns early, but knowing your body goes beyond just understanding your menstrual cycle. It's about paying attention to any changes in your body. Maybe you're experiencing pain during intercourse or perhaps you've noticed a new lump or bump in your pelvic area. Maybe your periods have suddenly become much heavier or lighter, or your cycle has become irregular. These could be signs of health issues such as endometriosis, polycystic ovary syndrome, or even cancer. Catching these issues early can make a world of difference in treatment and recovery. Knowledge is power, and in this case, the power to promote overall reproductive health. The more you understand your body, the better equipped you are to recognize when something isn't right. And the sooner you can address any issues, the better your chances of maintaining your reproductive health. Remember, your body is constantly communicating with you. It's telling you when it's healthy and it's warning you when something might be wrong. It's up to you to listen to those messages, to understand them and to act on them. Knowing your body is the first step in taking control of your reproductive health. So make it a point to know yourself inside and out. It's the best investment you can make in your health and your future. The fourth step involves practicing safe sex. Now, safe sex is not just about preventing unwanted pregnancies. It's a vital part of maintaining your overall reproductive health. One way to ensure this is by using contraception. There's a variety of options to choose from, and it's important to find the one that works best for you and your lifestyle. But let's not forget, contraception isn't always foolproof. Regular testing for sexually transmitted diseases is paramount. Early detection can prevent many complications and ensure your well-being. Now this may seem a bit daunting, but remember you're not alone in this. Open and honest communication with your partners about your sexual health is key. Discussing contraception testing and any concerns you may have can lead to shared responsibility and peace of mind. Remember, safe sex is an important aspect of maintaining your reproductive health. It's not just about you, it's about protecting those around you as well. To maintain female reproductive health, you need to remember these four steps. Let's take a moment to revisit these key steps that we've discussed thus far. The first step is regular checkups. Regular visits to your healthcare provider are essential. It's not just about treating problems, it's about preventing them. Early detection can make a world of difference in treatment outcomes, so don't wait for symptoms to appear. Be proactive about your health. The second step is maintaining a healthy lifestyle. What you eat, how much you exercise, your sleep patterns, stress levels, they all play a significant role in your reproductive health. Remember to nourish your body with nutrient-rich foods, stay active, get ample rest, and manage stress effectively your body will thank you for it. Thirdly, it's crucial to know your body. Understanding the normal rhythms and changes of your body can help you identify when something isn't quite right. If you notice any changes, don't dismiss them. Seek professional advice. Remember, you're the first line of defense when it comes to your health. And the fourth step is practicing safe sexual habits. Protecting yourself and your partner from sexually transmitted infections is fundamental. Use contraception effectively and regularly get tested if you're sexually active. Open and honest communication with your partner about sexual health is also key. Now while these steps are vital, what ties them all together is education. Understanding your body, its functions, and its needs is the cornerstone of maintaining good health. And in the context of female reproductive health, 
education becomes even more important. There's a lot of stigma and misinformation out there that can lead to unnecessary fear and confusion. Education can break these barriers. It empowers you to make informed decisions about your health. It helps you to communicate effectively with healthcare professionals. It enables you to pass on accurate information to others, thus breaking the cycle of misinformation. By taking these steps, you can take control of your reproductive health and lead a healthier, happier life. Remember, your health is in your hands. Empower yourself with knowledge, take action, and take care of your body. It's the only one you've got. If you found this video and our discussion on female reproductive health helpful and want to learn more about health, wellness, and life lessons, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Life Lesson Ideas. We aim to provide you with valuable, informative, and easy-to-understand content, covering a wide range of topics that can help you navigate through life's challenges. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos. So, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our new content. And remember, your health is in your hands. Be proactive, educate yourself, and take control of your well-being. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon. Subscribe to Life Lesson Ideas for more insights and advice on leading a healthy, informed, and empowered life.